everyone. Today we're going to paint lovebirds sitting in a tree. So first of all, I'm just getting my paint plate ready. I have titanium white, phthalo blue, Mars black. Then I've got a little bit of light green permanent and a little bit of nickel azo yellow and burnt umber. So you can use any blue, green, yellow, and brown. That's basically the colors we'll need. So you need a white and a black, blue, green, yellow, and a brown. So also our brushes. For the most part, I'm gonna use a one inch flat, a half inch flat, a quarter inch flat, and a little small number two liner. That's all you need. So, and you'll need a little bucket of water or a cup of water, and you, I'm using a 16 by 20 canvas. So the first thing I'm gonna do is kind of find where my tree is gonna be and where my sky is gonna be. So I'm using a little bit of, I have water on my brush, I'm gonna pull a little bit of white out and I'm gonna pull a little bit of blue in with that just so we start making a little bit of light blue. And that's gonna be our sky color. And I know my tree is gonna be a little less than half the width of my canvas. So I'm just gonna make a little line down. So everything left of the line is gonna be my tree. Everything right of the line will be my sky. So then I'm just gonna start to fill in my sky. Light blue, so this is our white and our blue together. And I'm gonna have a little bit of a mixy sky background. Occasionally give your brush a dip in your cup of water. And I'm kind of making like an X motion on my canvas. Make sure you fill everything in. I'm not going real, real thick with my paint. And we're gonna fill out that side of our canvas just like that. Little dip in your water occasionally really helps your paint cover. And guys, just to let you know, I'm, again, same as my last video, I'm using Liquitex Basic brand of paint. Liquitex Basic. You can get that at any craft or hobby shop, really. Um, you can order online on Amazon. You can order it from Curry's Art Store. It's a pretty common beginner level uh, acrylic paint. It's not too expensive. And a tube will last you pretty long. I usually buy bigger tubes of the white and black just because it's the colors that we tend to use more of. So you'll notice I'm not brushing long brush strokes on. I'm just kind of dabbing back and forth, filling in our sky. And when you mix your paint, you're going to notice as well that a little bit of your blue goes a really long way. 
you really, if you're just starting to paint and you're buying tubes of paint, and, you know, they're not cheap. They're not, this brand is not crazy expensive, but it's not cheap. So you don't want to waste a lot of your paint. Pour up a little tiny bit. When you squeeze it out, gently squeeze out, you know, like a, the size of a green pea amount of your color. If you need more, you can always squeeze a little more out as you go. But if you squeeze a whole lot of your tube out, you're gonna end up wasting a lot of your paint. Um, your tube won't go as far and you'll have to replace it quicker. And a lot of that paint, you're gonna end up throwing in the garbage, which is kind of wasteful. So there's our blue sky background. So now I'm just gonna kind of look at my painting a little closer and I'm just gonna see that, uh, see if I have any like thicker parts of paint that I just need to kind of dab over. We don't want any real thick ridges of paint here. It'll take longer to dry. So that's that. I'm gonna give my brush a quick little rinse and a pat dry. I'm just using um, an old towel. You can use paper towel if you want, but I'm using an old towel because when it gets really dirty, then I'll just throw it in the washer and you can reuse it. So now we're going to paint our tree trunk next. So that's going to be our burnt umber. And I'm going to touch a little bit of black with it just to kind of deepen that a little for our first layer. Our tree is gonna be a couple of layers. Our first layer is gonna be just a quick first layer and it'll be pretty dark. And then we'll start to kind of layer some detail on top of that. A Little bit of black in with your burnt umber. And you're gonna see your brush strokes in this totally fine. We want our tree to have texture, so don't over brush it. It's not necessary to brush and brush and brush until everything is all exactly the same. You'll make yourself crazy if you try to get everything perfect. And we want texture in our tree trunk, so it's okay if some parts are a little lighter, some are a little darker. That's what we want. And we're gonna fill it in right to the bottom. Brown and black together. And like I said, I'm using burnt umber, but any brown is okay. If you don't have burnt umber, use something else. It's totally fine. So now you can kind of visualize where I'm going with this. This is a beginner friendly painting. Anyone can do it. So that's that. Now we're going to have a couple little birds sitting on a tree branch, but I wanna have a couple more tree branches above him. Um, this is probably close to being dry. If it's not, you can always give it a little blast with your hair dryer, or you can take an extra plate and you can fan your painting just for a minute or two. Your sky doesn't have to be perfectly dry, but it should be kind of, you know, semi-dry. And acrylic paint really doesn't take a long time anyway to dry. So just a couple little fans with your plate and you're probably ready to go. So I'm gonna move to my half inch flat brush. Little dip in my water. I'm gonna go to my brown and black again. 
that we did our tree trunk with. So our brown and black, a little bit of black in with that. Want it to be kind of dark. And at first I'm going to load my brush, but keeping that nice sharp edge on my brush. And I'm gonna find my branches. First I'll do them really skinny, just so I know where they're gonna go. Then I'll go back and I'll thicken them up a little bit. So one there, one here, and I'll do one up here. So that's kind of my guideline. Now I'm gonna go back, because a branch on a tree is always thicker where it joins onto your tree. And let it get narrower as it comes out. And you can have a couple small ones off that. There's one branch. Reload your brush. And we'll do another one here. Make it wider. See how I'm using the flat width of my brush? And then when I get out so far, I'll turn my brush. See how I'm turning it on its side, which makes a finer line, and that's how I'll end my branch. And I'll do a couple coming off this one using the edge of my brush to make smaller lines. And that's my second branch. And then we'll do our third, same idea, using the flat part of my brush and then turning it. So we end using the edge of our brush. And there we go. That's the base of our tree. Now we're gonna go back over this dark with some lighter now. So it starts to give our tree texture. We're gonna use the same colors, our brown and black, but we're gonna start touching a little bit of white in with that. And just lightening this up just a little bit. Lighten it up a little, and then we start using small brush strokes and giving our tree trunk some texture. Notice I'm not going the full length of my tree with my brush stroke. I'm just doing short little brush strokes. My brown underneath is still a little wet, but that's okay. Everything kind of blends in together and we start to see the texture coming out in our tree now. more brown. I accidentally touched in a little yellow. I don't know if you can see it up right here because my paint colors are close together on my palette, but that's okay. We'll just go back, touch over it a little more so you can see a little yellow is coming out in that and it's fine. It actually looks kind of neat. And a little lighter again. I want my right side of my tree to probably be about the lightest part. So you can still see the dark parts coming through. We're not covering everything. Let some of the dark that we started with peek out from behind your brush strokes. Don't cover everything in and kind of resist the urge to over brush this. 
it's it's a common um, thing that a lot of beginner painters tend to do is overwork it. So do a little, kind of stop for a minute, look at it and see, do I want to add more? Is there anywhere I can put a little darker or lighter? But if you brush and brush and brush and overwork it, you're going to end up just with a, a kind of a solid color. But we want to see these different shades. So don't be afraid to add a little more white, even a little more white there on your palette. And we can go back and just kind of lighten up again a little tiny bit. A little bit here and there, sticking mostly to the right side of our tree. And there's our textured tree trunk. And now we'll do the same thing out our branches a little bit, but not quite as much. We just need a little touch out our branches. Still using my half inch flat brush. So just a little touch out our branches will do. And I'm not even going to worry about going right out to the tip. Just mostly on the bigger part. And there we go. Next, we're going to add some leaves. I'm going to do it with my half inch brush again. So I'm just rinsing that and giving it a quick pat dry. And for our leaves, we're going to use our green and yellow and white. So first, I'm just going to use my green. And again, you can if you have a different color green, Go ahead and use It's Okay. It doesn't have to be this bright green like I have. I have this really bright green. I think I'm gonna just tone it down a little bit. I'm gonna touch just a little teeny tiny tiny little bit of blue and add to that. And I've added water as well so I can get it a little thinner and a little bit of blue with it. Just helps kind of tone it down. Not too much blue because blue is like super, super strong. So now we're going to add leaves to the ends of our branches. I just lay my brush on and I flick it. My leaves are kind of one stroke, just my green and my blue. They don't have to touch the branches. It's okay if they don't. And we'll do all of our leaves in this color first. Then we're going to go back with some of that yellow. And we'll do some lighter bits on top. And don't come in too far on your bottom branch because that's where we're going to add our little bird silhouettes. And there we go. That's that. Then I'm going to switch over to my quarter inch flat brush. This is a number 12 flat. The brand is Black and Silver by Dynasty. And I'm going to add a little yellow with that green now. And a little white. So I have my yellow here. I'm pulling towards my green. Pulling a little green in with that. And I'm going to take a little bit of white over there too. So 
So we get this kind of neat limey green, yellowy limey green. And I'm just gonna do a few little dabs kind of over where we did our green. And there we go. I'm just gonna rinse my brush at that now. So for our birds, they're really kind of simple. Um, I do my birds in sort of three steps. And we're gonna do it in just solid black. And they're gonna be just little black bird silhouettes. And I'm using my quarter inch flat brush and my black with a little bit of water, just thinned out a little puddle of black. And I want my birds kind of facing each other. The first thing I do, I make a little oval. So that'll be one of the bodies. And then I usually do a little head, like a circle, but you're overlapping your oval. And then we'll do another one like that. So we're gonna have two. And then a little head on him as well. And then just fill those in black. And that's that. So that's the first step. So it's an oval with a circle on top that overlaps. And I kind of got them angled towards each other. And then I'm just gonna take a little more black and I'm gonna make a little tail. And one here. Two little tails. Then I'm gonna grab my small pointy liner and a little bit of black. I did dip it in my water first and wet it. And we're gonna give them each a little beak. And then this one. And that's our two little bird silhouettes. So you could change this if you wanted. If you wanted to put, like some people like to put the members of their family. So if you had a mom and a dad and a baby bird maybe up here, or if you just wanted to do one big one here and one on the other branch, you could do that as well. And the last thing we're gonna do is our heart carved in the tree. And that's our liner brush again and just black paint. And we're gonna make a little kind of rustic heart in our tree where you can put your initials or whatever you would like. So our heart in our tree, I kind of want to center it sort of in our tree. And if you're if you're not comfortable just taking paint and going straight to your canvas, you can take a pencil first if you want. Um, you may want to give this a quick blast with your hair dryer. Make sure your tree is dry. And then you could dry your heart with a pencil first if you wanted or with chalk or something like that. Then you can outline it. So I'm going to do a rustic heart. Let's see here. That's that, and then I'll do another side. And 
and I'll just crisscross that. And that's your heart in your tree. If you wanted to put initials in it, you could. It does look really cute if you do. I'll put mine and my husband's. J plus L. There you go. And that is your Rustic Heart and Lovebirds painting. Thank you for watching.